UConn is moving on to yet another Sweet 16, thanks in large part to the efforts of uh, Paige Beckers tonight. 32 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists, 4 steals, that huge rebound at the end. What did it take to hold off this really good Syracuse team? Uh, team effort, a lot of physicality, um, a lot of mental toughness. Um, actually, in the Notre Dame game, Nika fouled out um, early, and this time we had a different mentality about it. Um, but just so last year against Baylor um, in the second round at home, I just remember going back in my car and just being very emotional, not being able to play in this in this atmosphere, in this environment, in this high stakes game. And I prayed about it. I just got to give all glory to God and my teammates and my coaching staff. But we played one heck of a game, and that's a really great team on the other side in Syracuse. Coach Ariema said that when he came to watch you in high school that you were playing about a minute and a half stretches. Today you played 40 minutes, but he also said during those times in high school you were like a balloon, like you were all over everywhere but had to come out. What was it about the sustainability to be able to play 40 minutes the way that you did in this game? Just mental toughness at this point of the season. Everybody's tired. Everybody's got aches and boo-boos, um, and it's winter go home. We just want to continue playing. Um, and try to get another 40 minutes. And I wanted another road trip with this team. I love this team. I love the, the whole program. I love being a part of this. Um, so it's just a whole lot of mental toughness um, through everybody, throughout the whole team. And not only do, uh, do you love the team, the crowd loves you right back. Mm -hmm. We saw you over there gesturing towards the uh, student section at the end. What does that mean to have all this support? Yeah, I accidentally threw the ball. That was, I was like, oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> but uh, no, this is the best fan base in the country. Um, I missed it so much last year. Um, and I, we, we wouldn't be who we are without them, their support um, and just their love that they show us. And for us to get back and play hard um, is what we want to do. Moving forward in this tournament, what does it mean for you to have six players down and to be able to fight off the adversity of not having Nika Mule on the floor? But moving forward, how do you compartmentalize this kind of effort into the next round in the Sweet 16? Like I said before, it's just mental toughness. We've been battling through this stuff the whole entire year. A lot of hits, a lot of blows, difficult circumstances that we had to work through. Um, but we've been through it so much, honestly, that we're built for it, um, that we feel like nothing can break us. And we just have so much strength within each other that we just got to lean on each other to get through. Okay, it's good to have you back after missing the tournament last year. And you're going to see her in Portland against Duke next week. Congrats. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you. Really good. Oh, good.